Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Hotline Miami. And I actually went back to my previous level and apparently did way worse. Um, <laughs> but I'm just showing this again because I unlocked a new weapon, because, the, you know, you can go back and get a higher score to get more weapons. But I did it because it, like, deleted a cutscene because of what I did, so... Apparently I need to be careful when I end videos, because certain things aren't really repeated. But this is where I wanted to start the video, part two! Questions. <laughs> I didn't want to skip this scene, because it's kind of important. Oh, it's you again. It looks like you've been busy since the last time we met. I see that you remember me now, don't you? But you still don't know who I am. You don't even know who introduced us, do you? Why did you come back here? You're not a nice person, are you? You make me sick. Some pieces don't quite seem to fit. Or maybe I just don't like the way it looks. I think our time is up, but we'll meet again. Before you go, here's four questions to ponder. Question number one, do you like hurting other people? Question number two, who's leaving messages on your answering machine? Question number three, where are you right now? And the final question, why are we having this conversation? That's all for now, see you soon. I think my Daggles impersonation is pretty good. I don't know about you guys. I think it's spot on. Good evening. This is Blake speaking. We have a job for you. There's a power outage over on 24th Northeast Street. We want you to take care of it. We've already sent someone over a while ago, but it seems he didn't do a very good job. Head over there right away. They're expecting you. Keep it quiet and clean. And there's the woman that I saved. She appears to be sleeping on my couch. Fair enough, I mean... What is this? Is this also a bed, or is this... Why does it look weird? Also, what the hell is on the bed here? Jeez. But is it pizza crumb? Was I eating pizza in bed? I mean, it's not too bad. Whatever. Ugh. Gotta help with that power outage. Don't want people without power. Probably Henderson that they sent over. That Henderson just doesn't get the job done. Alright, um... We're gonna use lethal doors, so just like with the lethal fists, now when I use a door to hit someone, it will kill them outright. I don't know if I can do this, but... Wow. Boom! Well, that went well. I have the samurai sword. Oh god, there's a dog. Um, dogs can be killed by anything except for fists. So you need a weapon to kill them, basically. But if you just have your fists, they will destroy you. Lethal door! <laughs> I broke his leg with the door. Due to the power of my horse mask. Smash. Wait, he does- oh, he is dead, because his, his head ruptured. <laughs> Can't really use the door again, though. It's already swung. It's, uh, boop. I guess I can. <laughs> and... smash. That's everyone in that room. Who else we got? Two in there. Oh, also, these things are windows. Enemies can see through them. Be careful. They're gonna see me if I kill these guys in here. And I think I can still take them out. I just need to take these two guys out. I don't know if I can do that without a gun. Nah. Eh. Damn it. <laughs> well, let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> that's really what I expected to happen the first time I tried it. Here. Alright, good. Where's that dog? I don't want that dog screwing with me. Oh, there he is. Tch. Slowly creeping around the end. What the? He's a weird teleporty dog that opens doors. Got him. They charge really fast, the dogs are very dangerous. Let me just, uh... <laughs> Let me just that. What, did you see something? Oh, you saw nothing. At least that's what you should be saying. Damn it! Alright, I should do this room first. Wah! Because that's going to be one of the harder rooms. Plus I can get a gun if I want. Smash. Kick. Yeah. Alright, let's get a gun. Maybe cause a little bit of ruckus. But I don't want a gun quite yet. Or at the very least, this one only has two uh, shots, so I don't want to waste it. Oh, jeez! 
hate the dogs. Hate them. Ow. Alright. Alright. I'm telling you, I got really lucky when this worked out the first time. Can you get a little bit closer, sir? Thank you. <laughs> Just gonna kick your head in real fast. Samurai sword, go! Oh, crap. Did not see! He wasn't there the other times. Damn it. Eric! Okay, that was ridiculous and shouldn't have happened. Smash! Alright, two guns, no sword this time. Oh, I have a pipe left. Whoa, he didn't see me. If he'd seen me, that would have been a little bit different. Hey, dog. Here. <laughs> ah, poor doggy. Damn it. So I can do some door action. Door action! Mine. What? No! I'm standing too close to the door. This looks like this is the first map I'm having issues with. It's bound to happen eventually. I'd say this is the first hard map, actually. The other ones are, you know, whatever. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? No, oh, just Too many. No. <laughs> too many. Wow. Would have been different if I hit him with the door, but I didn't. Dog? Trying to kill the dog with the door did not work. <laughs> uh, lethal doors are hilarious. Um, I'm gonna try. Whew! Pulled it off. I am being. I have to admit, I am being slightly helped by slowdown, and I don't like that. But at least I'm not being majorly cripplingly helped by slowdown, like to the point where it's dumb. Just how it was the first time I tried to record this game. I guess I gotta take what I can get at this point. Um, the reason that I was reminded to check this game again... Whoa, I did not see you there! And that bounced off. Sweet. Um, it was because Daglas actually got me Hotline Miami 2. And I was like, I'm probably gonna record it. I, I just wish I could record Hotline Miami 1. Is there any possible way? And I just loaded it up and they had added a bunch of stuff that let me record it. Like a windowed mode and other things. Uh, just optimizing the game so it wasn't ridiculous. Because this is this game isn't a graphical powerhouse. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to record the damn thing. As I mentioned before, I think it's always better to just bring a melee weapon with you when you go to a new room. Because usually just silence is better and leaves you with more options. A lot of times when I uh, don't do that and I bring a gun, I end up like, every single time I die, I have to just throw away the gun because it's not helping me. How do 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 do? Uh, there's a gun. Holy crap! Um, so there's a guy who's torturing someone in there. I guess I will, unless I die, I won't be able to show them. But um, if you open the door, it explodes and kills you. And it's actually one of the sh most shocking moments of the game. But uh, I've disarmed it by accidentally blowing up the place. Like you have to use a high-powered gun to shoot the door open, because if you just walk in there, you instantly die. Fortunately, I don't think you're going to get to see that scene, because I don't, it doesn't look like I'm going to die. Though these guys can be a little bit rough. Because they're hiding and you have to wait for them to stand up. And when you wait for them to stand up, you're vulnerable. Huh, looks like a little piece of brain is over here from that exploded guy. Weird. I got it. Okay. Yeah, time to go. I got some score. And yeah, the weapons that you unlock, because, like, the weapons that appear in the stage are somewhat randomized, and the random weapons will just appear in the stage. Oh, there we go. Another fine electrical job done. They have power, and I get paid. New weapon. B+, plus. I'll take it. And we got a new mask. Gram. Brams. And I've unlocked the Magnum. Looks like that's a machete next. Okay. Oh, hi there. Good to see you. I was a bit worried about you. The city streets don't seem safe anymore, you know? What with all the killings and all that, I mean. Don't worry about paying. You're my friend. Your money's no good here. Have a nice night. Cool. 
Oh, I forgot to show it. Um, yeah, if you if you move up a little bit, there's a bunch of guys that are hassling this man over here. And once you come out of the store, there's just blood, so... I don't think he made it all that well. Such is the world we live in. May 11th. It looks like Katie's taking a shower. Huh. I have one new message. Yo, it's Dave from Miami Pest Control. We need you. A client at Southwest 104th Street is having vermin problems. Try to handle it as quickly and swiftly as you can. Someone else will clean up after you leave. Make sure not to bother any of the neighbors. Alright. I'm going out for a job, Katie. My casa es su casa. Fifth chapter. Full house. Now, I don't remember exactly what Graham does. Walk fast? Okay. Can I get something cooler than that? <laughs> I'm gonna use my crazy bullet mask. Cause screw it. Screw it, bro. Survive two bullets. Alright. Kinda want lethal doors. <laughs> Alright. Gotta kill these guys before they get up. Oh, Jesus, dog! Aw, oh, stupid sl If it wasn't for slowdown, I totally would've died there. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, well... <laughs> Even magical slowdown can't save me from all situations. Oh, jeez. It's a, the slowdown isn't bad, it's just enough to give me a slight edge. I don't like that. Oh, well, I shouldn't too be, feel too bad. I did practice. Maybe I'm just doing so infinitely better and have superhuman reactions if possible. Oh, jeez. Slowdown also doesn't help you from threats that you don't know about. Which is why you should look around. Knife, best weapon ever. Wah. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. He's done. You're done. Oh, just... Uh... Excellent. That was a good shot. A good, good shot with a pull. Pull shot. Pull position. Oh, there's so many people in here. Oh, he got me. Ah, oh. melee combat like melee versus melee is weird in this game because like you have to swing perfectly to hit it sometimes, which is why the knife is so good because you don't have to worry about that. It just goes blah, 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 blah. just walk towards people; they will die. Oh, I missed a shit. Don't walk past a guy with a gun. <laughs> That's my advice to you. Ignore it at your own peril. Whew. You saw nothing. Oh, you saw something. <laughs> Shot me right in the neck. Crowbar. Alright. Um. Hey, look what I found. It's a little speck on the ground. See? It's one of those vermin. It's a cockroach. Oh, come on. Even with a knife, I couldn't get him. Alright, I think I'm going to clear that room with guns. Because clearly melee is not working the way I wanted it to. Ugh. Damn it! <laughs> Knives, uh, they seem to have like a 50% chance of killing your target on impact. I guess it's whether it hits it with the blade or the handle. There we go. Alright, what gun is this? Ugh, again, I'm not that great with this gun, but... Oh, damn it! Pff. Room I didn't clear came after me. Cool. Maybe I should try to clear that place first. Might not be a bad idea. Ow. <laughs> I didn't even see him attack. I was just dead suddenly. So it goes. Hello. It's because knives are amazing is why. What? Guess he didn't see me. Weird. Oh, hello. I saw you. Whew. You just gotta aim towards the dog with a knife. You're gonna kill him. <laughs> How did... Who are you? Where did you come from? What is your face doing here? Yeah. Never mind. Your face has been separated from your face. 
Uh oh. Smash. Alright. Not the gun I would have wanted. Ugh. It's all that gun. No! Jeez, I missed. I always miss. I thought one of those guys might have been stunned. So what? What? I thought he just went and collected a, another weapon, which was weird. Good. <laughs> now I can get out of here. E. Had to get that cockroach again after I got bitten by one of the vermin. Oh, there's more, huh? Uh, I'm gonna bring. Uh, no, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna bring this gun despite what I said, but there's a damn samurai sword up here. I am bringing that. Yosh. Shouldn't have been peeing. No peeing zone. I'm gonna go all Pulp Fiction on these guys. Two guys with guns, maybe? Whoosh! Hello! Mass slaughter! Hey, look at me! Look at me! Lord! I did not kill him with the sword. I might kill him with this. Uh oh. And I did kill him with that. Hello. Oh, he didn't even come off his couch. Gotcha. Alright, pest control done. Uh, my company will send you the bill. Don't bother showing me out. I know the way. I don't actually know the way. Which which way which which way is out? Not not that way. Ah, all right. Goodbye, sirs. I kill pests done good. I done I done good at killing them. New weapon unlocked. Boom, C plus. That's terrible. <coughs> oh my God, Dennis, my favorite mask in the game, because his ability is that you start out with a knife. I, to be honest, the Fist of Fury is better. <laughs> Because then, even when you throw the knife, you still have a weapon. And I got the machete. Good evening. How are you doing? You look a little bit distracted. Something got you worried? These are harsh times we're living in, I know. Haven't seen many customers lately. Maybe they've lost their taste for pizza. Maybe it's time to close shop once and for all. Anyway, I've got your order right here. Take care now. Excellent. I love that guy. I love him. Gives me all the things. She's taking a bath. You know, that pizza would go really well with some beer. There we are. That being said, I've never said that sentence before. I think bear is, beer is gross and disgusting and horrible, but I happen to know that was an S weapon, so I figured, meh. No, I think things are going pretty well. I'm getting a lot of work here. It is dawn from the Hotel Blue. We need you tonight. Our receptors have went home due to stomach problems. And we have some VIPs who will be staying with us today. Make sure you give them a great stay. That will be your top priority this evening. Now get going. And right, I'm going out again. You know, though. It's like once a week. Go out on the job. Uh-huh. That was an important character interaction. Chapter 6. Clean hit. Alright. Uh, I think we're just... Yeah, we're gonna start with a knife. I like it. So you're certainly on the toilet. And certainly dead. There's a lot of guns over here. It's like I might have to clear out this room, so... Oh, jeez. Probably should have had better cover than nothing. Wah! That's, what do I want? That's the gun I want. <laughs> oh, my blind firing was working, too. <laughs> and I get rid of the knife this is the only thing that my mask does. <laughs> Really? No one's gonna come after me. Holy crap! <laughs> um. 
There, I got someone. Uh. Alright, one guy still alive. Interesting. I think I might know. I hoping I can get him from the window. Uh, got him simply enough. Holy crap, why did I think you weren't a guy? You were holding around the, like, platter of food. So I just ignored you. I'm gonna keep my knife in there so I can grab it for the next stage. Alright. Alright, that gun's done. Got a freaking Uzi here. What? Whoa! Where are you? Most of those went right into the door. Oh, there's another, another major D guard there. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, I need that shotgun because I think all the other guns are out of ammo because of my spray and prey stylings. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of guns at this rate. All right, good. Sorry, sir. Apparently, you. Uh, well, no, you're a VIP. I had to take care of you. That's what I'm here to do. Take care of VIPs. Oh. This is fine dining here. There we are. Dennis back in the house. Um. Not seeing anyone here. Oh, I have to leave my knife. Another very important character interaction. Cleaners sure are talkative. Someone left something on the ground. Can't just leave that there. Alright. Uh. Surprise! Jerk wads. Oh, he's still alive. That was, that was a real surprise. What? That's not a window. If it is a window, it's not one that I can shoot through. And cleared out that room pretty nicely. They just stood there and took it. There we are. All the VIPs have been taken care of. Hopefully they'll come back. We like to have a nice clean run hotel here. Uh, let's take this. Yeah. Alright, let's look at my consumer reviews to see how I did. My customer cards. B+. Alright, now I won't get fired. New mask. George! Cool. Another video store. Hey, my man! Boy, I'm glad to see you. Have you been following the news about the killings? Now this is top secret. You can't tell anyone. But I have a friend who's on the police force, and he told me there's rumors going around. There could be more than one perp, maybe a whole bunch. A group of people wearing masks and killing Russians. It's like something straight from a movie or something, right? Well, I think it's fascinating. Right, so just grab any movie you want. It's on the house. That's what friends are for. Well, um... I don't know if I'm really in the mood for movies, but... It was a hard, it was a hard day at the office. Let's say that. The VIPs were jerks and mean to me. Alright, May 23rd. Hey, Katie. What's up? Just gonna answer my messages. It's Harry from management. We have a problem. There's a big mess over by the condos on 122nd Street. One of the residents' water pipe busted. Water all over. The whole building's gonna be flooded soon. Hope you can get on this shit ASAP. Don't go easy on the mop. Ah, uh, Harry's a bit gruff. I gotta go, Katie. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have a television, but you can keep on watching this table, I guess. I mean, freaking no. <laughs> Alright. That's what we did back in the 80s, we just watched tables. Sounds lame, but it's more entertaining than you would think. Make up a little backstory for your table, cover it with things. Alright, we've got look further. So, oh god, I can look over like the entire room. It looks like there's a speck of dirt on the ground, we don't want that. I have to clean that up. 
Um, he miraculously did not see me. Mine. Nope, he saw me. <laughs> oh crap. That's one of the big guys need a gun. Alright. If I did not pick up that gun, he would have killed me. Because you can't kill him with melee. You need guns to kill the big guys. Oh crap. <laughs> Alright, he's done. Who's left? Just you? Well, hello! Clean up that speck of dust. Here. Alright, machete. Oh my god, machete. Looks like it acts similar to the knife, it's just a little bit slower, but it's longer. That's awesome. Machete. Yep, I approve of the machete. I mean, the machete. <laughs> From the movie, machete. Oh, just... Um... Hope I don't get shot from behind for this. Oh, uh, just... Almost got shot in the front for a minute. No! Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. You gotta be really careful when you mount people. If there's anyone else around, because you're vulnerable. I just chopped his head off. That was brutal. Ow. So was that. <laughs> it looks like everyone's dead, not stunned. That's good. Alright, oh, need a gun. Prefer a uh, prefer a shotgun. Let's kill them one hit. Alright. Stage clear. Let's take my machete and ride. Well, I kinda want this. Ah, I should've taken the machete. Ow. Definitely should've taken the machete. Always take melee, I'm telling you. Well, I've cleared house here. Aim. Whoa! Alright, well the shotguns hit them with one hit if you hit them with the whole blast, I guess. Otherwise, not as much. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it was definitely good that I took a gun that time. So ignore my previous statement. Oh, just... Crap. <laughs> Whew! Went better than I ever could have hoped. Uh... Can't pick up anything anymore, so let's just move on. Apparently someone calling. There's been a small change of plans. We have a prank caller at the telephone company. Why don't you go over there and see if you can... talk some sense with him. You know what I mean. 342nd Northwest Street. Go there now. Floor it! Huh, alright, well... I don't normally do house calls like this, but... Ugh, can't have someone making prank calls, I guess. I don't know why they're getting me to do this. Seems like I'm just doing all the work for everyone these days. Hmm. Other people just sleeping on the job. What? Everyone's asleep. Everyone's asleep. I don't understand. Guess this is why they have to call on me. I'm the one who gets things done. You're dead meat. Uh, oh, just, well, he was right. <laughs> this boss is rough. There's not too many bosses in this game, but he's one of them. Gotta get the golf club. Gotta kind of avoid him. He's gonna do two melee slashes, and then... Ooh, he's gonna throw his knife. Oh, jeez. So when he throws his knife, that's when you have an opportunity to attack him. Do not try to attack him before then. He will instantly kill you. It's actually kind of annoying, to be honest. What? What? And you can, in fact, be hit by his throw knife, so be careful of that, too. Oh, just... Oh, he got really close. You never want him to get close. Oh, God, he's stuck. That's hilarious. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh. Whew. This... This can't be happening. It can't end now, not like this. I'm so close. <coughs> <coughs> well, I got a new golfing buddy, so that's that's a thing. I wish these guys would wake up for God's sakes. Oh, well. I think I talked some sense, and we'll we'll uh, we'll make up the 
this, uh, you know, somewhat rough conversation over a game of golf, I think. Show him on 9-iron. Alright, well, I think that's all for this episode. On the next episode, we'll be going to the final chapter, part 3. And how did I do here? Not bad, not bad. We got a new mask, Ted. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. And Ted has a pretty cool mask, I'll definitely be showing it off. Later. <laughs>